Let's now do an example of a line integral of a vector field. Our example will be to calculate the integral over c of f dot dr, where f is the vector field z comma x, y comma x plus c in R3, and c consists of three line segments. So first the line segment from the origin to 1, 0, 0, then the line segment from that point to 1, 1, 0, and then the line segment from that point to 1, 1, 1. So let's draw a picture of this curve. So first we have a line segment from the origin to the point 1, 0, 0. Let's call this first part of the curve C1. So it goes to line segment from the origin to 1, 0, 0. Then the next part of our curve, let's call it C2. This goes from 1, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 0. I forgot to put an arrow on C1, so we should keep track of the orientation, because remember that the line integral does depend on the orientation. If we get the orientation wrong, we'll get the wrong sign. And now the third segment of our curve goes from 1, 1, 0 to 1, 1, 1. Let's call this third segment C3. Now to evaluate the integral, I can write it as a sum of three integrals. So it's the integral over C1 plus the integral over C2 plus the integral over C3 of f dot dr. So let's evaluate each of these three integrals in turn. So the integral over c1 of f dot dr is what? Well, to evaluate this, I need a parameterization of c1. So we could describe c1 as follows. So first of all, y is fixed equal to 0, and z is fixed equal to 0 for all of c1. And x is varying from 0 to 1. And the simplest way to have x vary from 0 to 1 is to say x equals t, where t goes from 0 to 1. Other parameterizations are possible, and they'll give the same answer as long as the orientation is correct, but this is the simplest one. So it should give us the simplest integral. Okay, so this integral is the integral from 0 to 1. Now I have to take the vector field f, and I have to plug in x equals t, y equals 0, and z equals 0. So I get z is 0, xy is 0 because y is 0, and x plus z is t because x is t and z is 0. Now I have to dot product with the velocity vector. The velocity vector is 1, 0, 0, and now dt. So this is the integral from 0 to 1, and this dot product is 0, so it's 0. Okay, next, let's look at the integral over c2 of f dot dr. So I need a parameterization of C2. So for C2, x is fixed and equal to 1, z is fixed and equal to 0, y needs to go from 0 to 1, so let's just take y equals t, like we did before. Um, so here, t goes from 0 to 1. So now I have the integral from 0 to 1 of the vector field. So I plug in x equals 1, y equals t, and z equals 0. So z is still 0. x, y is now t, and x plus z is now 1. I dot product with the velocity vector, which is 0, 1, 0, dt. So this is the integral from 0 to 1 of t dt, which is a half. And finally, let's calculate the integral over c3 of f dot dr. To do this, I need a parameterization of C3. So for C3, x is fixed and equal to 1, y is fixed and equal to 1, and z needs to vary from 0 to 1, so let's just take z equals t, as t goes from 0 to 1. So this is the integral from 0 to 1. Our vector field, z is now equal to t, x, y is now equal to 1, that x plus z is now equal to 1 plus t. I dot product with the velocity vector, which is 0, 0, 1. So I have the integral from 0 to 1 of 1 plus t dt. The integral of 1 dt is 1. The integral of t dt is a half, so I get 3 halves. And finally, the answer 
Well, I have to add up these three integrals. So I have 0 plus 1 half plus 3 halves equals 2. So there you go. Um, note, by the way, that in this first, first integral, well, I mean, we could also write the integral over c of f dot dr is the integral of z dx plus xy dy plus x plus z dz. So in the z dx, uh, in this first integral, we're only moving in the x direction. So the dy integrals and the dz integrals are zero. We just see the integral of z dx. And since z is equal to zero, we get nothing. In the second integral, we're integrating xy dy. Um, so we only see and we, we don't see the dx or the dz integrals because we're only moving in the y direction. So we're integrating x, y, dy, and that gives us this one half. Then in the third integral, we don't see the dx or the dy integrals. We just see the dz integrals. So we're integrating 1 plus t dz, which gives us the 3 halves. All right, whatever. We know that this integral doesn't depend on the parameterization as long as the orientation is correct. What if we change the curves? What if we look at a different curve with the same endpoints? Let's call this, say, C tilde. So what if C tilde is the straight line segment from the origin to 1, 1, 1? Will we get the same answer? Let's see. So we're now going to calculate the integral of the same vector field over the curve C tilde, where C tilde is the line segment from 0, 0, 0 directly to 1, 1, 1. So to do this, we first have to parameterize C tilde. And the simplest way to do this is to say x equals t, y equals t, and z equals t, as t goes from 0 to 1. So then the integral over C of f dot dr is the integral from 0 to 1 of, so this f, I now have to plug in x equals t, y equals t, z equals t. So it's t, t squared, 2t. And I have to take the dot product with the velocity vector, which is now 1, 1, 1, dt. So this dot product is t plus t squared plus 2t, otherwise simplified to 3t plus t squared. So this is 3t squared over 2 plus t cubed over 3 evaluated at t equals 1 and t equals 0. So this is um, 3 halves plus 1 third, which is uh, 9 over 6 plus 2 over 6 is 11 over 6. Was that the same answer we got before? No, because the answer we got before was 2. So it's close, but not the same. So what does that tell us? That tells us that for this vector field, so this is the force, um, the work done by F as you go from the origin to the point 1, 1, 1, depends on the path you take, depends on the curve, from 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1. Um, so in the next part of the course, or next, that next section of the course, we're going to think about when is it true that the work done going between two points depends on the curve. And this is going to lead us to the fundamental theorem of line integrals. And then we're going to understand more about what conservative vector fields are. So we'll see that shortly.